because I'm serving my clients' interests. And if there are analogous cases, which I believe there are, that were not charged, that helps my client's position. Therefore, I'm against the protective order. Most of all, it's not reciprocal. Do you understand? They released an affidavit to the public domain, which was their strongest presentation. But then you won't be able to talk about it if yes, there's a protective order. Yes, they're not restrained. They will be releasing material as they have. They haven't put themselves in the goddamn protective order. And it's a one-sided, you know, order. I protest that vigorously. If you're going to gag up, and guide the prosecution too. But it's already too late for that because they've already released it. Right? Well, yes, but there's a lot more coming. I'm not anticipating negative evidence against my client, but against many, there's more coming. There's more charges coming. They can, you know, take the initiative. They can release it, ultimately impairing our ability to get a fair jury. I've said it before. I'll say it like I'm drumming. Part of their strategy is to poison the jury pool. Part of our strategy is trying to show the the other side, the protective order prohibits us from showing the other side. Not a good thing. What's on the other side? What is? Instead of wrapping up your. So what is? What on our side, the word government, you know, induced crime. That's that's the heart of our defense. The government created and induced the crime and tried to pin it on my client. Were, uh, they were unsuccessful for five years. It's only when they got some celebrities, you know, that they didn't anticipate that they charged him. Do you think Yee's going to be put in the RICO charges, or is he going to be kept out of the I have no idea. I don't represent him, so I have no idea. But you heard today, a uh, present defendant charged only one count. Dorn Weinberg argued persuasively he should be separated out. The government says, oh, no, we're going to charge him with Rico too. We found some guns in his house when we were there. Mm -hmm. So they have strategy. They want to charge Rico. Rico can be a life sentence. From that, they put what I will call undue influence on a number of defendants who have minor roles, who don't want to go to prison for the rest of their life. So what they do is they become cooperating defendants. They become informants, and they will lie. And that's what I fear, and that's their strategy. Understand, in every major case, they have cooperating defendants. Do they need cooperating defendants when they have all this on wires? They don't have my guy. They really don't. I see. So they, so they would love someone to say, oh, I paid them under the table, but that didn't occur. I'm, I'm convinced it did not occur, and should they, you know, have some frightened defendant who lies, well, we'll test them in cross-examination. Okay. So just to clarify, right, you enough. haven't seen any pictures or, like, videos of the evidence, right? Uh, the way the protective order reads, you will never see in a video uh, of the evidence, but we're going to fight. As, know. Of, as, of, uh, as of now, you haven't seen, no one has seen any of the evidence. That's right. Thank you. Well, uh, right now, we have an indictment, and we have that affidavit, mm -hmm. and that's all we have. But obviously, we have investigators, we have talked to witnesses, we have talked to our client. So, you know, we have a grasp. Essentially, on, on the when, when we'll do the cross examination. Oh, that's a trial that'll be a year from now. <laughs> <laughs> or not the, before the trial. No, not before the trial.